What's going on, sci-fi fans? My name is Ben, and welcome back to the channel for another episode here on our ATST, inspired by The Mandalorian. We are going to be moving forward today, guys, right into the action with cables. Now, I don't know if you guys remember the show too much or have seen some of the pictures of it, but there's actually these cables that they string around different areas and attach them to these extra armor plating. What I want to go ahead and do is add in those cables. I think the best way to do that, though, is to use some easy lines. So I have some easy line all set up, ready to go. We're going to go ahead and attach as many cables as we can and make it look a little bit more organic. Now, I don't really have a pattern to follow. I don't have really clear pictures or anything showing these cables, so I'm just going to kind of wing it. Go and just kind of do whatever I feel artistically and see where that gets us. Now, the majority of the cables, at least in terms of references, actually are shown to be wrapped around this top handrail. And that means that there's going to be three different locations that we're going to attach these easy line strings onto. One of those is in the very front, one of those is on the side, and then, of course, the opposite side as well. So we have quite a bit of stringing to do today. I'm not sure how that's going to go, but I'm hoping it's going to look cool once I get it all finished up. I did notice, of course, that we do have one support cable that we need to go ahead and attach to this left side here. That is going to be pretty simple to do. I'm just going to go ahead and glue it to the bottom of that little flap, string it up and around, go over and under that top handrail, and then go ahead and just glue it back down to the underside of that flap as if it's, you know, been worn, it's been beaten and abused. And that's the only way they can get that to be open is just to tie it open. So I think the first thing we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to go into that time lapse and we are going to finish stringing all these cables. I'm going to go ahead and wrap them around the weapon pylons. I'm going to go ahead and try to glue them to the underside of each of those armor platforms. And I'm hoping that that's going to give us a really cool, very organic, very field modified type of look. So that's what I'm going for. Let's go ahead and kick it into that time lapse. Hopefully this goes well. We can see how it looks. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this started. Not too bad, we are back and I have all of my cables nicely strung together and they went over decently. I like how that's turned out so far. We have the strings all nicely wrapped around different areas and I think it looks pretty cool. Unfortunately, the wires are a little thin, but I think if you really get up close, you can notice them a lot more. I'm happy with it. So I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on to some of our details. I'm gonna add in a couple of extra wires here, especially around the gun. I'm gonna add in two additional wires, just a couple 0.3 millimeter solder wires, nothing too fancy. I know there's a sponge technique I want to go ahead and try and I'm going to take some light gray and just some packing foam try to just add in random chips of paint then I'll come back with a little bit of our whole red and I'll go ahead and go into each of those chips and mark them down a little bit as if maybe this is the primer or maybe it's just rust I don't know so let's go ahead and just try that out get this one step closer to being finished <music> Oh, 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 
are back, everybody. I went ahead and I used some Army Painter washes. I used a dark tone and I used a mild brown tone. And I went ahead and just went over different parts and areas. And I think that actually helped quite a bit. Go ahead and pop some of the details and give it a little bit of shading. I also tried to do a little bit of some rain streaks coming off the top of the turret. I don't know if it really worked, but I'm happy with it. It's okay for now. Now we're going to go ahead and add in some tarps. A lot of my references show that each of these joints up here by the top of the legs have a tarp that's pulled over and tied down. Today we're just going to go ahead and put the tarps on. Next episode we'll go ahead and worry about how to tie them down. I'm going to be using some basic Kleenex, nothing fancy, and I'm going to be using a mixture of white PVA glue with a little bit of water, probably like two parts water to one part glue. And then I'm just going to go ahead and apply it with a paintbrush. And because it's a Kleenex and it's very absorbent, it usually ends up holding shape just fine. I think that's going to work for us here. Once I kind of get these all ironed out, I'll go ahead and come back and I'll paint them up with maybe like a canvas color or like a sandy color. And then next time we'll go ahead and worry about how exactly to get these lashed down. One last detail I want to go ahead and add in for today guys there are some wooden pallets that are lashed to the front of the legs now i'm going to go ahead and scratch build those out of some strips of styrene i'm just going to go ahead and piece them together nothing too fancy and then we'll paint them up and we'll glue them down to the front of the legs the next episode we'll also have to lash those down along with the tarps so let's go ahead and get back into that time lapse and let's go ahead and finish it off today last little bit of details finished up get those tarps painted get our wooden pallets painted and see how we turn out
All right, everybody, we are back, and I think I'm done for the day, guys. I think our ATST is coming along. We've added in quite a bit of detail today, and I think it looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and zoom in here and give you a close up so you can see all the detail. I think our chipping technique turned out okay. It's not great. It's one of the first times I've actually tried this, but I went ahead and I used the sponge technique, and I just chipped with very light gray, and I came in with some of our whole red, and I just filled in each of those colors. I've seen other people on YouTube try it, and I just wanted to give it a shot. It's a very cool effect, but I need to practice a lot more. So you can see I've got my cables wrapped around there. I added in a little bit more rust here and there. I actually found an old PE part from my G55 and I actually use that for that metal grate that's kind of just welded to the front of the turret. So I think that's a nice touch. The tarps turned out decently. They are pretty plain right now, but they do have a little bit of texture and they're holding their shape, so that's good. I think next time though, we're gonna have to come in and maybe do some dry brushing on those and then maybe overcoat that with a dark wash. It's gonna help to kind of pop all those details. We have one on here on the foot as well. I think that's going to really look cool once I get it all dirtied up. And as you can see, of course, we have our two palettes. I tried doing a little bit of a faux wood grain on them. I don't know if it really turned out very well, but I think it's okay because they're gonna be covered, hopefully, with mud and dust and all of that dirt. That should be pretty cool to do. We are going to have to go ahead and lash these down and the pictures show just some crisscross cables that are just tied off on the back of the legs. So that shouldn't be too hard. We should be able to use maybe some easy line or something for that. Should go well. But that's going to be next episode, guys. I think we've done quite a bit of work here on this, and I'm happy with how it's turning out. It's not 100% screen accurate, but then again, I'm not going for that. I'm just trying to recreate something that has that same feeling. So we'll see you back here on our next episode of the Raider ATSD here on Sci-Fi Wednesdays. Until then, you know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool, and we'll see you back here real soon, guys. Thanks so much. Take care.